OK, so we're going to look at quite a useful way of using channels within Photo. So if we move across to the Channels tab here, we have our individual layer channels, and then we have our selection channels, which is what we're interested in. So just to demonstrate how this works, if I go up to Select Tonal Range and Select Shadows, that has selected the shadow tonal range of the background pixel layer. But I can then go to Select, Save Selection as Spare Channel. And sure enough, here it is down here. I can then right click it, choose Rename, and rename it Shadows. So if I go ahead, deselect my current selection, I can then go back in and this time select the Highlight Tonal Range. So we'll do the same process, save it as a spare channel. This time, rename it Highlights. Deselect once again. Then finally, I can hold the shortcut key and click on the background pixel layer to create a luminance selection. And a little shortcut, rather than going back to the selection menu to save the spare channel, you can simply right click on pixel selection and choose create spare channel. So we'll rename this luminance. OK. So now we have our channels established for selective purposes. Let's go ahead and add a high pass live filter. OK, so we'll just drag it out on its own, increase the radius, check monochrome, then we set the blend mode to linear light. Now this looks quite gruesome at the moment, but with the high pass filter selected, we will right click on the highlights channel and choose load to high pass alpha. So now that will mask this filter to the highlights of the image. If we zoom in and have a look, we'll just uncheck high pass, then check it again. So we've added a sort of sheen to the highlights. Now let's do something to the shadows. So we'll go in and add a recolor adjustment. Don't worry, it's not going to stay like that. Take the saturation down, then right click shadows and load to recolor adjustment alpha. Now, this is somewhat of a subtle effect, but we can basically tint the shadows ever so slightly. So if I go ahead and uncheck this adjustment, you can see the shadow area unaltered. I'll go ahead, check it. So hopefully you'll start to see that we can be very specific about which tonal areas we're targeting with filters and layers. Finally then, let's go ahead and add a black and white adjustment. And we'll just adjust these sliders. Then we'll go ahead and load this to the luminance channel selection. So once again, load to black and white alpha adjustment. So there we go. Just by targeting the luminance, we've added a sort of monotone tint rather than affecting the entire image with a black and white adjustment. So as well as using channels to target tonal areas, don't forget you can also select based on color ranges. And also, say you create a particular selection. For example, the sky. You can create a spare channel based on the sky selection. And then any time you want to quickly bring up the sky selection, you can either mask it to an adjustment or filter, or you can right click and load to pixel selection. So channels are incredibly useful, and hopefully that's given you some more ideas about using them in your own workflow.
If you have any questions or queries, please don't hesitate to ask on the official Affinity Forums. Thank you for watching.